Hello, I'm Susanna, and today we're going to look at percent in math. So we're going to use a particular method um, to solve percent questions. So we're going to use what we call the formula method. So the formula method can be written like this. We've got P and R multiplied by B. So we normally write it without the multiplication sign. We normally write it like this and we recognize that the R and the B are being multiplied. So P represents portion or the part of something and the R represents the rate and that you can identify because that's always the percentage that we're looking at and B is the base and that's the whole value of something at 100%, at one whole. So with these kind of questions, um, the main thing is that we always identify the portion, the rate and the base correctly. And then we can work out our answer. We always then check whatever answer we get to make sure that it makes sense and is in context to the question. So it's kind of a tip for us to make sure that we've done it correctly. So we're going to start off with a statement we know to be true. So 20% of 50 is 10. Okay, so we know that that is the case here. So we've got the rate here, which we can recognize because of the percent. We've got the whole number at 100%, and that is our base. And then we've got the 10, which is our portion, sort of part of that base, according to the percentage. So the first question that we're gonna look at is worded in this way. So what is 20% of 50? Okay, so if we just look at this initially, um, we recognize that 100% of this number is 50, 100% of 50 is 50. So if we're looking for 20% of 50, then we know that it's gonna be a number that is less than 50. So a quick method that we could use to work out what this value is, is to change, so any percentages that we have, we need to change them into decimals, okay? And we can do that quickly by just dividing the percent by 100%. Okay, use the calculator, 20 divided by 100. It's going to give me 0 0.2 as a decimal. Okay, and this is the value that we need to find for any percentages so that um, we can put those in the calculator to do our calculation. So what we could then think about this question is that we've got 20%, which is 0 0.2 of, which often means multiplying math, of 50. And Again, we can work out this value, and that's going to give us 10. So when we say what is 20% of 50, we're saying the answer is 10. Now, using the formula method of portion is equal to the rate multiplied by the base, we've got our rate written as a decimal, 0 0.2. We can multiply that by the base, which is our 50, and then we can work out that our value is 10. So here we're working out the portion, which works out to be 10. Okay, the second question that we're going to look at, still with the, the values in our statement, is 10 is what percent of 50? So the key thing here is to identify these three parts. So we know the 10 is our portion, we know the percent is the rate, which is what we want to find for this question. And we recognize that the 50 is the base. Okay, so make sure that we identify each of those correctly. So then we can use the formula method. So again, we've got our formula here. So now we need to find the rate. So we need to rearrange this algebraically um, to find the rate. So just Quickly, we know that the right-hand side, we've got rate multiplied by base. So if we bring over the base, instead of multiplying, it's going to be dividing. 
and then that gives us our rate, okay? But we're just gonna swap that around so we have our item that we want on the left-hand side and the formula on the right-hand side. Now, there is an extra part to finding the rate or the percent of a question in that whatever answer we get here, we need to multiply it by 100% so that we write it as a percentage. So now we've got our portion, 10, we can divide it by our base, which is 50, and then we're gonna multiply it by 100% to find our rate. So again, use the calculator, 10 divided by five, that's gonna give me 0 0.2. Then I'm gonna multiply it by 100, percent or 100 and then that's going to give me 20 percent okay so make sure um, you write in the percent sign so we write the answer in context so now go back and check that the answer makes sense um, 10 is 20 percent of 50 which we know is correct okay the third question is 10 is 20% of what? Okay, so again, we're looking at the three parts to this. We recognize that this is the portion. We know that this is the rate because it's the percentage. And what we want to find is the base. So again, using our formula, okay, we've got our formula P is equal to RB. We want to find the base, so we know we're multiplying by the rate, so bring it over to divide. Then we can just plug in our values. So we know our portion is 10 divided by our rate, written as a decimal, 0 0.2. And now we can do that on the calculator. That will give us an answer of 50, which we know is correct. So now go back and just double check. 10 is 20% of 50, that, that makes sense. Okay, the last question that we're gonna look at here, number four, so 10 is 120% of what? Of what number? So we've got our portion here. We know that this is our rate as the percentage, and we know that we're finding the base, okay? So now we actually have a percentage that is over 100%, which is fine. We have 120% and it depends on the context here. So 10 is 120% of what? So we must sort of recognize here that we're looking for a value that is less than 10. Okay, 10 is 120% of something. So again, using our formula method, P is equal to RB, then we want to find the base, which we know previously, we rearranged it, is P divided by R. And we know our portion is 10. We know our rate, written as a decimal now. So again, just re reminding ourselves that we're dividing the percentage by 100 and use the calculator. We, we're gonna get a value of 1.2 here for the rate. So now we're gonna do this division, 10 divided by 1.2. And on the calculator, you should get this value, 8.3 recurring. So this is what we know, and we describe it as a recurring decimal. Okay, the calculator is only so long, so it can only show us a certain number of 0.3s, um, but it does go on forever to infinity. So a shorthand that we use for math, sometimes we write it with a dot above the numbers that are being repeated, so we recognize it's 0.333, or sometimes we use a, sh a short line, so we recognize the same, okay? But we could actually write this answer as an exact value, eight and one third, and that is our exact value here. Again, reinforcing how um, useful fractions are in this case that it can represent an exact value concisely so eight and one third so the key takeaways with percent is the first one that we use the formula method 
Um, P is equal to RB, so the portion is equal to the rate multiplied by the base. And then we can rearrange that algebraically, so we can find the rate, which is equal to the portion divided by the base times 100%. So remember with that rate, we've always got that extra step of multiplying it by 100%. And then the base is equal to the portion divided by the rate. The second point is that we're always going to convert the percentage to a decimal by dividing by 100%. So use the calculator to do that. And the third point is that we want to always correctly identify the base, the rate and the portion so we can complete the calculation. And the fourth point that we want to always check our answer makes sense, um, you know, with the question that we're answering. So go back and make sure that it makes sense there. Okay, and there's some questions for you to try with the answers. So the first question is 25 and 3 quarters percent of $2,680 is how much? So here we're identifying the portion. Okay, just be careful with the answer that you get on the calculator that you correctly round it to two decimal places because we're working out a uh, monetary value. So we want to write in the correct sense as 10 cents there by adding the zero. The second question is 4.8 is what percent of 7.2? And you can write it, the answer around it to two decimal places, which is what we normally default to. Remember it's a percentage, so put in the percentage sign, or we could write that as an exact value 66 and two thirds percent there that you get on the calculator, 66.6666 recurring. And the third question, 15% of what amount is $27.90? Here we're finding the base, which is gonna work out to be $186 there. If you need extra help, please reach out to me using the links provided in the description below. Also check out the other videos in the series. Thanks for watching.